Hey guys, welcome on the channel. Just a really, really short video how to recover an Express LRS receiver. I tried to update this one uh, half an hour ago and um, had my quad plugged in with a uh, uh, short saver with an, an, uh, this uh, Firefly. Uh, what is it called? Yeah, this one. A really good one. But I had it in 1M mode and um, it worked until the receiver uh, triggered a beep, I think, at uh, starting the flash procedure. And uh, so, yeah, power was down and the boot, the, the flash uh, abort and the receiver was it was not dead but it was uh, blinking all the time yeah, now it's recovered already so it's it's blinking fast let me just disconnect this quick for you sorry for this amateur radio <laughs> uh, uh, video so it was blinking like this and then I remembered, yes, there is an easy way how to flash it with an FTDE adapter. I first tried the beta flight pass through method, but uh, didn't work. Then I connected it to an FTDE adapter. I have them laying around from other projects. But I, I made a small mistake at the first try. And that's the reason why I do this video. There are other videos, but I think they don't say that explicit to you. Because if you look here where I have connected the red, it's the plus 5 volt. Now it's zoomed. And the ground, you see in between them are RX and TX pads. And I have soldered the receiver to these pads but that does not work you have to use the rx and tx here on the pin header and then it works perfect so that was my fault uh, not sure uh, this is understood by everybody these RX and TX are not the same as the ones here on the pin header. So if you have a bricked or a boot loop uh, a receiver, um, you have to solder to these little, come on in focus. There are these two boot pads and then you have to connect these two boot pads on power up. Yep, let me drop the camera and then I plug it in. It's powered via USB. I connect these to short the boot pads and then power it up. Just a few seconds, just a moment. So now I connect the two wires I have soldered to the boot pads and plug in the adapter. Come on, yeah, now. So now we must hear Windows detecting the adapter. There it was. And we have a solid, solid LED. And if we now go into our Express LRS, configurator we use the UART option oh just a moment let me zoom in there that you can't see my password oh I think you've seen it <laughs> and then select the right com port it's 12 on mine and then build and flash and then it takes a moment to compile everything and then it's working 
Yeah, that's all for this video. It was just this fact that that the Oryx and TX pets here on the side. Please camera focus. These Oryx and TX in between the 5 volt and the ground, these pets don't work. You have to use the Oryx and TX here on the on the pin header. And then it worked first try. So here again, you see one succeed, success. The receiver stays with the solid LED. And after the result is success, you have to power cycle it. Yeah? So disconnect it, reconnect it. Windows detected my FTDE adapter. I have no radio turned on yet, so the receiver should go in uh, flash mode and I have configured Wi-Fi, so it should connect to my home Wi-Fi network. Yeah, come on, in a few seconds. So in the configurator, I click the Wi-Fi. Come on, I think it's 30 seconds or 20. What have I configured? Oh, Jesus, I configured 60 seconds, one minute. Okay, we don't wait a minute now. Oh, there it is. And the configurator should detect it. There it is. Select, and now everything is fine and you are back in business okay that's for now sorry it's a little bit longer than i expected but uh, i think it is uh, important to say that this explicit don't use this oryx and tx pads here on the side use the ones here on the pinout thanks and bye